Hey, geometry students, hope you're still doing well. We did translations, now we're gonna do reflections. And with reflections, there's three equations you have to know. Wait for the bell to end. Reflection in x-axis, y-axis, and in y equals x. So a reflection in the x-axis looks something like this. They give you your original points, x, comma, y, and after the reflection in the x-axis, so whenever you see a reflection, it'll be a little r, and then it'll say what it is. Your new points, I'll write in red, are going to be x, comma, negative y. So when you reflect in the x-axis, you switch the coordinate of the y. Now let's look at number two, reflection in the y-axis. So once again, I'll write the same thing. It's going to write it in green. You'll probably be able to see it better. We have our original point x, y. When we reflect it in the y-axis, what do you think is going to happen? Well, if you look at the x-axis, when we negated the y, so when you're reflecting the y-axis, we're going to negate the x. Exactly. So it's going to be negative x comma y. And reflection in y equals x is the easiest one. If you have a point x comma y, and you reflect it in y equals x, the points just switch. So your new points are y comma x. All right, so now let's see how these are gonna work uh, in action, let's see some problems. So number one, well number problem one, excuse me, is split into three parts. You see it's A, B, and C. We're gonna go through each one using that original point. So it says, what is the image of the point negative five comma four under a reflection in, and the first one is the x-axis. And over here, we have our steps of how to solve reflection problems. Step one, label your x and y coordinates for your original point. So our point is negative five comma four. So this is our x and this is our y. Great, step two is to identify the reflection formula. Well, if you're reflecting in the x-axis, let's scroll up. It says in the x-axis, it is x comma negative y. So we want to make this x comma negative y. So our x stays the same, and now we have a negative y. And that's it. And that would be step three to solve it. So that's all. Let's look at part b, reflection in the y-axis. So our point again was negative five comma four. We label our x and our y. Now we go back to our notes, and what's it say for reflection in the y-axis? It says we negate the x this time. So for this one, we're gonna negate the x. That's a negative, and it's a negative five. Don't forget both signs there. And the y stays the same. But we never leave two negatives. That doesn't look right. So we know that that can be written as five comma four, right? Because two negatives make a positive. Perfect. And now finally, the easiest one, reflection in the line y equals x. So once again, you got negative five comma four was our point. Label your x. Label your x and your y. And now for y equals x, it just says to flip them. So our answer, which I'll write in blue, make it look cool, is four, negative five. So to answer your problems, all you need to know is these three. So once again, if you reflect in the x-axis, you negate the y. If you reflect in the y-axis, you negate the x. And if you reflect in y equals x, you flip them. I think this one's pretty easy. You're all going to do a great job. Good luck.